a lot on this pair. So if you did not hit, do not worry. You're gonna probably hit on the sneaker drop. If not sneakers drop, sneakers you can't depend on because you could take an L on the sneakers on a brick. So yeah, make- Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real on the mic, in the cut. As y'all can see, and today, hey, this is the lighting's gonna be kind of ass, well, kind of bad in this video, excuse my language. It's gonna be kind of bad in this video just because it's nighttime right now and I have nowhere else to really record this. But, anyways, we're gonna be talking about the Blacksmith Threes that are about to drop November 23rd. Yes, to drop on November 23rd, which is next weekend, next Saturday. But they just shock, shock, shock dropped yesterday, so yeah, I'll talk about it. Uh, I hit on the shock drop in a size 11 and a half, but before we get this video, drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And a little fit check of the day, we got the EE shorts on. I don't know if y'all can see in the white t shirt, real basic, but yeah anyways so the blacksmith threes they just shock dropped yesterday at 223 which is kind of like a weird time they did like I get, i'm assuming 23 because michael jordan's number was 23 so they did at 223 yesterday which was a wednesday so very you know they all shock drop out weird times honestly nothing's really a shock drop nowadays because everybody on instagram and everybody in the sneaker game usually knows 15 minutes before they drop you know if you're on if you're active on instagram you really don't even have to be in a cook group but cook groups can honestly help you a lot <laughs> what I want to say being in like a discord that like you usually have to pay honestly I'm in a couple uh, discord groups where I have to pay to get information but honestly you don't even need to pay because honestly in this, most sneakerhead Instagram accounts usually let you know when shock drops are about to happen and the one yesterday was at like I already said the time and I'm pretty sure I don't know what stock was on there but I know it was not too easy to get them but they're gonna be dropping a massive amount next weekend so if you did not hit on the shock drop yesterday I would not even worry they're gonna be dropping this is like apparently it's gonna be like a massive GR so I kind of want to talk about like I kind of want to talk about like uh, resale predictions, like how much are these going to be going for? Honestly, it's honestly going to be a brick or it's going to be a flip. You know, it, which one is it going to be? I think honestly it's going to be like in the middle. Right now, if you got a pair, honestly, I have 11 and a half men's coming in, which I hate how on shock drops they deliver it to you like on purpose the day before the actual release. So like they're supposed to come to me like the Friday before the Saturday that they release, which is kind of annoying because it's not really like. You know it's not really exciting you know because you're not getting the pair that early you're getting it pretty much the same time as everyone else is getting them but even if you hit on the shock drop which i feel like they should have shipped it out day before so you at least get it three or four days before it's good for people like me who might do a video on it we want i want to get an early video i know a lot of people a lot of youtubers already have early pairs because this is a gr pair this is something that you can get early pairs for a good price very early on because you know there's going to be a lot of them i think uh stock stock prediction like there's gonna, supposed to be like 400 or 400k or like a half a million pairs coming out probably more honestly but honestly I, I see them about dropping like a half a million pairs i feel like these could be like the industrial blues where they just brick because you know they're just like an og colorway that like people's been wanting since they came out well kind of you know they just have that nostalgia kind of that everyone likes you know it's just like an iconic colorway kind of like the military blues aka industrial blues you know black cement threes they i don't know if like i don't know when the first time they came out i know they came out like a while ago it's like one of those og colorways but the pair that i remember is the 2018s i remember i used to always want this pair but i feel like it didn't go for that much when it came out but it might have you can correct me in the comments i was honestly i was in the sneaker game but i didn't really pay attention to, like how much like shoes were going for when they released and stuff like that i don't i honestly just like was into sneakers i just like collected you know ones when you know ones were hot at the time etc etc lebron's you know stuff like that but I didn't really keep up like when things were dropping and stuff like that. If you see mosquitoes flying around me, it's cause I'm in, you know, there's a lot of mosquitoes in my area. But anyways, like I'm saying though, this is like one of those colorways that like people really like, it's very sought after. So Nike knows this, they're gonna produce a bunch of pairs kind of like the industrial blues. But I feel like this might be a, like a bread four, you know, bread four reimagines whenever they came out. They were going, they were flipping for 300 bucks each. Like I was flipping them at Got Soul. Uh, there was a Got Soul in Miami. The same weekend that they released, like they did a two day event in Miami, Saturday and Sunday. And I pulled up like late on Saturday because I went in the morning. I picked up some pairs of Red 4 Reimagines. I only picked up one pair because I had a, a reserve, reservation whenever Dick's Sporting Goods, aka DSG, used to do like reservations where you like you sign up, you know, and you like, you know, uh, what's it called? You like reserve your pair and then you have to come pick it up in like a certain time frame, like 10 a.m. to like whenever on like that Saturday when they release. So I reserved like a, I remember a 13, which is like a good size, you know, that you could flip. Honestly, that's my size. So I was gonna either, you know, keep, I wear a 12 and a half really in like fours, but like, you know, in SBs and stuff, I wear like a 13 because SBs run a little bit small, but let me hear how the audio sounds real quick. Okay, but like I was saying, I was literally flipping pairs. Like I had a 10 and a half that I hit on a shock drop. Like they, they did kind of like how they did this pair. Okay, hey, how dark it is. I just realized, I just looked at like how dark it is. I'm really, you can barely see me, but hey, you see the cool little sunset type stuff. So anyways, like I was saying though, the bread for reimagines, I was flipping them. I remember I had a 10 and a half on the shock drop. They, they shock dropped the breads just like they did this Blacksmith 3 like a week before. And I remember I hit a 12 and a half, which is really hard to get the size. And I secured my personal size 12 and a half, which I honestly, honestly should have flipped 
while it was going for like 330 i think it's 12 and a half on StockX and goat was going for like 330 350 after they released so i honestly should have flipped that pair then waited a couple months and then bought my personal pair which is exactly what i'm gonna be doing with these blacksmith threes i'm gonna be flipping i just got an 11 half i tried to get my personal size because honestly my personal size is like usually the size that goes for the most money because they don't make a lot of 12 and a half and you know people do wear 12 and a half so you know they're not too not too many people but you know a good enough amount of people where there's demand for that size and there's just not as many produced so that makes the prices higher a lot of resellers go for that size which i hate because you know that's my personal size but anyways i didn't hit on a 12 and a half i got that i didn't get them and then i went in for 11 and a half which is hey this is some sauce don't always enter up on shock drops you usually have two minutes to enter i went like at 30 seconds 20 seconds you know if you want to be safe like 10 seconds don't enter up right away because usually when you enter up right away you usually don't hit very rarely you know obviously you can but usually when i enter up like a minute after like they uh, do like the little two minute draw like they don't tell you it's a two minute draw but it's a two minute draw uh, I, I usually went like a minute i went like a minute and a half and then i like entered it on an 11 half which is still a hard size to get and i hit like a lot of people did not hit on 11 half and like 11 and 12 sizes that people wear you know most people did not a lot of i saw a lot of l's i saw a lot of w's but i saw a lot of l's so they didn't chalk drop too many pairs so they're gonna save a lot of pairs for the massive gr so yeah i'm gonna pop up uh let me pop up stock x prices real quick on this pair okay i'm gonna pop up market probably on the screen yes yes i am right now my size that i got yesterday 11 and a half is going for like 290 my personal size 12 and a half is actually going for the less so actually the size i hit uh, is going for like one of the most expensive sizes besides like a size 15 or size uh you know 13 well yeah like you know those bigger sizes that like you know there's they just don't make much of them and like a size 17's ask is like 360 bucks but who wears a size 17 who's gonna go for that size so you know i feel like 11 and a half that was a good size to hit you know that's a size that's gonna sell so hopefully i can sell that before next weekend because i do see prices dropping a lot on this pair so if you did not hit do not worry you're gonna probably hit on the sneaker drop if not sneakers drop sneakers you can't depend on because you could take an l on the sneakers on a brick so yeah make because like you know they don't they usually send a lot of pairs to retailers but you know sometimes there's a lot of pairs on sneakers so this is a pair that there's gonna be a lot of pairs like i hate how dark it's getting but hey i'm gonna try to wrap up this video pretty much prices are going for around like 230 to 300 dollars 320 like i said size 17 going for a lot of money but no there's literally no sales not <laughs> the size so anyways so i do see prices coming down a lot on these i don't know if they're going to be like a hold on it's a plane all right well frick the plane anyways so i do see prices coming down a lot on this pair so i i don't I, like don't panic don't be part of the fomo you i'm well i'm glad for the people who are fomoing because you know i'm gonna try to sell my pair off for 300 bucks make a quick little buck on my pair then put it towards my personal pair that i'm gonna probably get because this pair is so good like honestly this is such a good pair but it just doesn't make it as special because it's such a it's gonna be like a massive gr it's gonna be like the bread reimagines you know everyone's gonna have them they hit a little bit harder in like 2018 2019 you know whenever like the breads came out and you know blacksmiths they hit a little bit harder because they didn't make as many pairs back then so they were just way cooler because you didn't see like everyone and their mama wearing them you know nowadays nike be pu pushing out crazy stock like a million pairs on a pair like they i don't think they ever used to do that correct me if i'm wrong i don't think they ever used to make that many pairs because there wasn't that much demand on it back then i'm pretty sure honestly there wasn't like that much nostalgia for those colorways unless you're just like an og sneakerhead that was around in like 1990 but now you know these pairs came out like five years ago a lot of people have been sneakerheads around you know getting into it and they know that th that pair has been out and they missed it back then so you know kind of creates some nostalgia for like the black cements industrial blue but yeah my resale predictions for this pair is honestly close to retail whenever they come out next weekend i don't see this being like the white thunders like for example like pairs like the white thunders are flipping better than these og weight like black cements are way better than the white thunders the white thunders are clean though don't get me wrong it's like a panted jordan four you can wear with anything but honestly i just I, it's, I know why it's because they didn't make that many pairs to join for white thunders like because there's not that much there is a lot of demand for them but nike didn't think there would be honestly i don't think they did because they thought like it's a new colorway it's like kind of like the yellow jordan fours thunders but you know just with the white hints instead so it's not really like an og colorway that they know a lot of people want like this pair that people know that people like nike knows people want the black cement threes so that's why they made the retail pretty high 220 after taxes it was 235 so they're going to be at all malls and retailers so a hey, being this pair being close to retail people are still gonna want it for the personal like especially if you wear a 12 or 11 and a half or 11 or 13 you know a lot of sneakerheads will wear those sizes and they're gonna go pick them up from stores so hey even if they're going for close to retail if you want to just go get it for retail honestly i honestly these might be like the industrial blues they might be going for under retail whenever they release especially on stock x on goat they might be going for higher i know on goat prices are a little bit higher like an 11 and a half let me check real quick yeah right now an 11 and a half on goat is going for 311 and 12 is going for 300 most sizes most of like the big sizes 10 and a half and up are going for like 290 to 320 so like honestly goat people say goats more trustworthy than stock x but honestly they're kind of like the same 
but I think people pay more on GOAT because they trust GOAT more. Honestly, GOAT and Alias, Alias is like owned by GOAT, I'm pretty sure. They're, they're way more picky than StockX, let's be real. Like a lot of fakes do pass on StockX, like clothing wise, especially. I, honestly, all sneakers I've gone from StockX have been real though. They ha they've all been legit. Like I could tell when they're, they're legit. Honestly, sometimes you might want to use check check or something just to double check, but most of the time, you could just tell if it's a real sneaker just by the smell, how it look, just how it feels. But anyways, these Jordan 4, th these, these Jordan 3 black cements, honestly, it's gonna be kind of hard to say. We're just gonna have to see, let time tell us, you know, they might be like a little mixture of the bread reimagines and the industrial blues. They might flip for a little bit, but don't 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 think you're gonna be making like $70 plus on this pair. It's not gonna be like one of those. Like the White Thunders was kind of like, a, like I think that was like the, they kind of brought back sneaker reselling for a little bit because people were eating on that pair. I mean, people were making like 70 bucks profit each pair whenever release day like they're really high they're honestly they picked back up they're on, honestly really high too I, I held a 12 and a half because i thought like they might go up to like 350 380 by christmas but right now they're they kind of they picked back up they went down though a lot whenever StockX would do like no seller fees and stuff they went down a lot but anyways so that's besides the topic honestly this pair is a clean pair so if you want it for the personal you should be able to cop it it's going to be really easy especially if you go put in, like a tiny bit of footwork you're gonna be able to cop these. These are really clean. I definitely want a pair for me, but I'm gonna wane a little bit. If you wanna be like me, I would wane a little bit. They're gonna be dropping over the next couple weeks. So it's not gonna be an expensive shoe. It's gonna be near retail. But if you wear like a 12, like me, 12 and a half, you might have to put in a tiny bit of footwork. 12 and a half is honestly hard to put footwork in because there's not many retailers besides Hibbit that keep 12 and a half and Hibbit. Most Hibbits, some of them are trustworthy, but my Hibbit near me, the employees are a little bit fishy, not gonna lie. But anyways, uh, I'm trying to wrap up the video now because it's getting really dark outside. Y'all can probably barely see me. But yeah, hold on a second. All right, y'all, I had to come into the light a little bit because it's getting really dark outside. So I'm gonna end off the video here. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all the good stuff. I'm pretty sure this pair is definitely a nice pair for the personal, but honestly, it's not gonna be a crazy flip. But if you hit on the shock drop, sell your pair instantly, try to get a sale on like something, I don't know. If you wanna drop it off on an app, you're not gonna get too much after fees. I think, honestly, if you want a little sauce, eBay's the best for selling, honestly, because they take 8% off most sneakers that are most over like 200 bucks. So eBay's the best. Go in, uh, depends your seller level on Go, honestly in StockX, honestly, but honestly, I, I stay away from those two apps, but if you want to, you can just dump them off on there. You're gonna make more money. It's gonna be like a Jordan 4 Industrial Blue. Honestly, they're gonna drop close to retail whenever they release at all these outlets and all these, well, not outlets, but you know, all these retailers and all these, they probably they might hit the outlets in some size. It's not gonna lie. You're not gonna see like a size 12 sitting in an outlet, but you're definitely gonna see some sevens, some six and a half, so those small men sizes that no one wears that if they wore, they'd just wear a GS size. And GS is gonna be like at retail or under, but it's gonna be a good hold, I feel like. I feel like it's gonna be like the Industrial Blues. Go look at industrial blue GS sizes. They're all doing really solid right now, but whenever they came out, they're literally all under retail, but that's just due to like bulk sellers, people getting a lot of pairs backdoored. But anyways, drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, and I'm gonna end off this video. Peace.